Hey ladies and gentlemen, YouTube 21 here. So today we're going to commemorate that my channel has been out for one year. So in today's video, I'm going to first start by talking about the history of my channel and then after that we're just going to like social montage and stuff. So I guess we'll just start with the history of my channel. So um, I first came out of the YouTube channel in August of 2017, I'm pretty sure, as a channel called Plums and Things 42, and I uh, I did like some gaming videos and stuff, and like KPM music. I uploaded some tracks from them, like the music I use in my videos and stuff. So I think I did some a couple others. I can't think of them off the, off the top of my head, but. I deleted the channel because I just wasn't quite satisfied with what I did uh, for that channel. So I went ahead and about a month later I created a new channel, which is the channel I'm uploading videos on now, YouTube 21, on September 5th of 2017. I uh, Probably my first video I ever did was a gaming video of, uh, it was a uh, game I used to play called Asphalt 8 Airborne. I did some gameplays on uh, Plums and Things 42, but uh, I did another video on my uh, YouTube 21 account. and It was edited in Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> yeah, very, very funny. And I grew up to use a, a editor called VideoPad, which I edited my uh, Fairborn uh, Tornado Siren ambiance video on there. And that was my very first Siren video, which eventually I would go to other sirens like uh, the RM27 up the street, uh, 508 in Fairborn, and uh, a couple other ambiance videos and stuff. Then I would uh, eventually do my, uh, I think this video pretty sure came out like after some of the others did, because I, I filmed this like in December. I filmed a uh, probably one of my very first unboxing videos. It was a uh, Unboxing of a uh, five pack, I think it was called a uh, world tour. And I would eventually grow up to start doing unboxing videos like unboxing like die cast cars that I buy from the store and stuff. And I, I did my very first unboxing video of like April of this year. And yeah, it's kind of grown up, and I'm, I'm happy with what I do for my unboxing videos. And then later, probably one of my more bigger things and the biggest thing on my channel, of course, cars. I created a, uh, a vehicle reviewing series on my channel that I called UAR, standing for YouTube 21 Automobile Reviews. So uh, UAR, um, I made it and I still want it to be kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like uh, Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, uh, Michael Adams Rocks, Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, yeah. and uh, Sob Kyle. So he doesn't really have a name for his uh, reviews, but Michael Adams does, Mike's Vehicle Spotlight of course, but uh, I've been, and it's kind of been going the format. It's I guess it's mainly a little bit towards Mike's vehicle spotlight. But I've been trying to. I'm not really that. I'll admit I'm not really that creative. So, but I'm trying to really kind of turn away from that and still do my own in-depth review without copying Michael or anything. So, yeah. Um, I would upload my very first UAR, which was a UAR of a 1995 Toyota Corolla DX that my family used to own, and it's no longer here. We got rid of it and. In July or July or August, I'm pretty sure. And that is where it, that's where it used to be. Now the Impala just takes up the extra space in the driveway, which we're in the Impala right now. And someday I hope to do a UAR on the scar. But um, and I do have actually have a couple of videos. I, I have a couple of videos coming up about the scar. Um, maybe I might film them. I don't know. But so. UAR would eventually grow up. I'd be doing a 2015 Acura TLX and then a 2011 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. And also I did my kind of exclusive, my 2018 Dayton Auto Show, which was a bit cringy because my camera hand, my camera was shaky and I didn't get the whole darn car in the shot. But I've kind of improved and I will be improving for, well, an announcement. I will be going to Detroit next year. So I have improved and I've kind of kind of planned out what I want to do for Detroit so 
yeah, stay tuned for that. Eventually in June of this year, I create a branch of UER that I called UER Vlogs. And just now I just had the idea, I might as well call them, so they're not really reviews, they're more vlogs, I might as well call them YouTube 21 Automobile Vlogs. But yeah, I did my very first one at Dayton Cars and Coffee, meet number five, and it was a bit cringy to watch because, well, shaky hand, didn't get the whole darn cars in the shot, and it's a bit hard to watch, of course not in 60p like my newer videos. I would eventually do that, and well, I, I gradually got better at it. My meet number 11 video, I am very, very proud of. And yeah, I've kind of taken some tips from another YouTuber, Topwater Tony. Um, yeah, I've and I also applied those tips in my neat meet number 12 and 13 videos coming out sometime soon. I hope. I also didn't had another idea because my friend David Michelson, he. He loves planes. He loves air, a lot of things aircraft related. And sometimes when I come over to his house to hang out, he's watching uh, he's watching uh, what you call plane spotting, where people go to airports and film planes taking off and landing and stuff. And I'm like, how about I do that with cars? I mean, the name car spotting is has been used before, but I'm like, how about I do this with cars? And yeah, I have noticed people doing it, but not really in the format I do it, like going by the street and just filming cars go by and staying in one single spot. But I went ahead and went out to one of my local streets and just kind of started filming cool cars that went by and stuff. And yeah, I was uh, probably the best car I've ever seen is a Ferrari 360 Modena from uh, Wagner Subaru, so that's pretty cool. I also do want to talk about a, uh, a video series that um, came out that I, I filmed a couple videos for but that never quite took off which was a uh, dealer brochure reviewing series where I I really love collecting dealer brochures and I'm pretty sure by now I've posted some pictures of them on uh, Drive Tribe and Twitter but I just love dealer brochures which is really interesting to have and stuff and yeah I love automotive related stuff like owner's manuals brochures window stickers whatever but I had a series where I reviewed brochures, but I just never really liked how it went. I mean, even if I put it in a my newer, more steady hand, whatever, I just don't like the idea of it, you know. It just, it just seems a little weird. I might as well post pictures of them in line. And yeah, I, that never really took off, and I don't really, I don't really like how they go. If any of you guys want to see them, maybe, maybe I'll post them, I don't know. But yeah, I did also, I do also have a, qu a couple, uh, unaired videos maybe that I might upload maybe sometime I don't know or I might show them in the video I don't know but yeah so I guess we'll first start with a compilation of my intros including my very first intro that I never that was featured in one of those uh those pre well I don't know I guess kind of what you call pre YouTube 21 videos but my channel was out and on YouTube when I was filming those videos but yeah so I guess we'll just start with the montage of my intros. And now the part you've all been waiting for, the montage of all the videos that I have uploaded on my channel within, well, the past year.
ladies and gentlemen. Beach 2.1 here. See you in Ohio. Um, the temperature shifts in January. 60 to, around 60 degrees now, and it's gonna be good. Has the has a noble kind of ASC ACA bay AS ASC base. Has the same board as the AC Howler. Let's see if we can get a view of it. Okay, what we're going to do is a review of the Hot Wheels 2000 World Tour 5-Pack. This 5-Pack includes the Bronco 4-Wheeler, Trail Buster, the Dodge Caravan, Oldsmobile Aurora. So, as you might know, I've really liked the Dodge Caravan. Especially the Grand Caravan because of uh, one of my favorite movies, Twister. But this is just a simple caravan. This is YouTube 21 here. Today we're going to take a look at this Hot Wheels 1997 California Dreaming Fight Pack. Basically the common theme with California Dreaming. Each car represents like a... I love this. So we have the golden lace wheels, black uh, base. Plastic base, metal body. Wolf is yellow. They did a really good job with this fly pack. Some YouTube wolf. 21 here. And welcome to the first episode of UAR, YouTube 21 Automobile Reviews. And in this first episode of UAR, we're going to take a look at this 1995 Toyota Corolla DX. Now let's and dive in. gauge. Attack on the was optional. Air vents around the driver and the passenger. The 2018 Alfa Romeo Giulia is a high-performance sports saloon powered by a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine. For the first time ever, the Honda Civic Type R finally comes to the U.S. in a bold, aggressive style, souping up your normal Civic hatch. The Type R is powered by a 2-liter i4 turbo and is the fastest way. The GTA 6 is a sporty, smooth-looking coupe featuring a 2-liter boxer 4 engine and a 6-speed automatic transmission with paddle shift. With this sleek, aerodynamic shape... That looks like some kind of, I don't know if that's going to respond to an auto, but that is some kind of... a 2.4 liter i4, and a 3.5 liter V6. The TLX seen here is a V6 advanced model in the Fathom Blue Pearl color scheme. The TLX seen here is equipped with dual i I have a 2017 Honda Civic hatchback, a Tesla Model X, BMW M1 Pro Car, and a Subaru Impreza WRX. So, with that said, so the WRX is one cool rally car. I love the WRX. Better, but 
I will be explaining what I think is pretty sure I'm gonna be it's gonna be happening. I'm gonna be adding like two clips of footage like record at two separate times from two unboxing. So here's the 720S out of the package. Now this is my all-time favorite of all the cars I've gotten. Probably my all-time Porsche 918. Now I love this one. I wish Hot Wheels made a Y Satch version of it, but yeah, I love this car because of its appearance in the Grand Tour. It's also part and of the Holy Hyper. the day after, I yet did another unboxing video. A lot of people are asking, well, why? So apparently, um, Sunday afternoon, um, while my unboxing video was exporting from the video, you should see a video about it being repainted. So, let's go on to my next car. Ah, the Corvette. Another good one. So this is the Corvette C7 Z06 before. So today I went to Kroger's hoping, which I was actually planning to just get like the one car actually. I was planning to get that Bugatti Wyra from the Forza series and new for 2018. The detailed picture in R30. Factory fresh, he's just threw it up. So here is the R33 out of the box and yes, I just love it. It is my all-time favorite in the Skyline, as I mentioned. But let's take a look at the Here for it's a real car, actually, and a McLaren P1. So that's actually all for the two cars that David Michelson the got me. And there's all seven, so let's take a look at it. These special five spoke wheels, I really like those. Plastic base, and I'm really much inside intake and indicator. Here, right Pat's whale, it's in the background. I think that's it. Gonna go off any second now. What used to be here was a old Federal Signal 2T22s. Now there are two of these in Fairborn. There used to be two 2T22s. So this firelight was installed into N14 to replace the aging 2T22. Huge 221 here. So today we're going to be doing a special UAR. Today we're at the 2018 Dayton Cars and Coffee. I don't know what's meat, but. But today I went to the Kroger's out in my area and picked these up and soon I'll be going there again to see if they've restocked because I'm pretty confident with my Forza cars. I really want to complete the series. Look at but, the car. So it's a metal base painted white. 73 BMW 3 Sisson race car. Rubber tires, BBS with the Goodyear logo. Oh, 
Alyssa, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we are. So, you hold the camera for me. Got a... So let's take a look at the car itself. It's one of my all-time favorite supercars. White accenting. White BBS wheels. It kind of looks like kind of rally spec wheels. I know it's not a rally car, but... It's an SS. It's basically a Holden Commodore. Guessing 6 liter V8. This is unboxing number eight. So I went out to the Super Krogers again in Xenia. I went out there again today and now as I unbox this appears to be at the window piece kind of seems misaligned so I'm actually, actually really really like these wheels. They're kind of the the Oz rally racing wheels. It's rubber tires. Both. Apparently the exhaust fell off the engine. I'm guessing it fell off the manifold specifically. I can't really tell. It looks like massive rust hole. Ugh, oh, it feels like plastic. It's so bad. AMFM radio with tape player. Six. The Tacoma seen here is a TRD Sport model on the Barcelona Red Metallic color scheme. The exterior specs of the Tacoma included be The gauge cluster includes the tachometer. Self. One out of five real riders. Alpha Romeo Julia Sprint GTA. Metal to metal. I don't know if you got a really good look at the package. Here's the Porsche 93 out of the package. It's one beautiful car. Now, I actually didn't notice the decals are clear coated over for this one, too, so that is a pretty good touch, and I really like how they did that. So, let's take a look at the package. First time we've ever seen one of the all that there was like a couple cars there. There's like a there's a Mercedes AMG G C and a Renault. But some silver accent on the side, I don't really know what that is. A vent on the side. Range Rover in the front. Five pack. So here's the five pack that David Michelson got for me. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's the Matchbox Open Roasters five pack. And
Congratulations and welcome aboard your new Chevrolet Impala. Built with GM pride, your Impala combines luxurious style with remarkable road performance. Hello, I'm Dan. And I'm Andrea. No. The right side of the system includes a knob to control where air is circulated. Buttons for air conditioning and rear window defrost are included below this. The center of this console is occupied by the dual climate temperature control. Yes, these are arriving. Did find out. I mean, I don't want to really get the plate in the shot too much, but this is actually the exact RX-7 that's in my neighborhood. I mean, I've never posted pics of it in the internet. But... <laughs> because I didn't just get some 164 cars. I also got this savage looking 168 McLaren 675 LT by a company called Kinsmart. They make a lot of really cool 138 diecast cars, so exactly like this one, it occurs in coffee, not a diecast one, a real one. So, uh, yeah, really beautiful car. I might want to get another one of these and paint it white because I really like the white I hate. But still, it's black, makes it look very nice. I really like the black.
ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click up there to subscribe, and also check out my other videos. Uh, here's some of my other videos. You can click right there. And well, that is all for today's video, and goodbye.